Hello, in our previous video we talked about how to find the expression of the Z transform and the inverse Z transform in MATLAB and in this particular video we will talk about how to find the expression or how to evaluate various expression uh, in MATLAB. Uh, so open MATLAB. In MATLAB first we will define uh, the symbolic variable x of y. Uh, so first we will define the s y m s x and the next step is to define the expression of which we want to take the uh, Fourier transform. For say in this case we are taking the expression as e to the power minus x square. So it will be typed as exponential minus x to the power 2 and if we check how it is look like it is exponential uh, x is minus x square and now we will take the Fourier transform and it's very simple it's just Fourier of expression and huh? that's it so if we want to display it uh, we will write simply this a uh, this is the Fourier transform of the uh, of uh, that particular expression here w is the uh, it is uh, converted into the uh, frequency domain so uh, let's take an another example still we have w so we will try to find the Fourier transform of sinusoidal signal and uh, let's describe the expression it is simply like sine 2 pi uh, it is f so it is x sine 2 pi uh, something like theta and uh, then again simply a equals to Fourier of f and this will be the simplest uh, example uh, simplest uh, Fourier transform of the sinusoidal wave it is pi times direct delta function of omega minus 2 pi minus direct delta function of omega plus 2 pi so it is similarly like we will get the two spikes at two frequencies of omega and the minus omega out of this uh, uh, sinusoid wave let's clear it and now we will take uh, the example of the cosinusoid wave and we will check uh, how the Fourier transform looks like up there. So we will define the expression of uh, the cosinusoid wave that is cos of 2 pi into theta and then we will take the Fourier transform of it Fourier F O U R I E R and then F. So again it is a same function uh, if uh, we can understand it its direct delta function is the delta function and there are two delta function one is uh, at omega equals to 2 pi and one is at omega equals to minus 2 pi so it is similarly like we will get the two spikes at uh, in the frequency domain at um, omega and at minus omega. So this is very easy for performing any Fourier transform of any given expression. So that's it for this video. Thank you.